love these Christmas decorations. They're vibrant and bright, and I love this bright red sunburst in the middle, or poinsettia. So I'm calling these the poinsettia Christmas decorations. You can also make them into coasters, as I have here, uh, by putting a backing on. There, I've just used a piece of felt, and I've sewn it on using the same colour thread as my last round. And um, as you can see, they're quite fluffy inside, so you don't need anything else. And they make great little coasters, and uh, they protect any wooden furniture. So to make these poinsettia Christmas decorations, you'll need three colours of yarn. And I'm using these three. Um, these were a little bit heavier than um, a double knit, a DK weight, but I'm still going to use a 4mm hook. I just think it gives a nicer finish if you use one size smaller than your yarn actually needs. You'll also need, obviously, a sewing thread in the same colour as uh, your last round, um, a compass, some paper to make your template, scissors and a pen. So to start with, let's make the centre of these. So using your 4mm hook, I'm going to make a magic circle and to make a magic circle, simply hold the end of the yarn over your finger, wrap it around once take it to the back, hold that in place and then just take your hook under the first loop over the second one, put it through and do a chain there to secure it and there is your magic circle. So I want to do 10 treble crochets in this ring and that's uh, British terminology so I'm going to do three chains here as my first stitch and now I'm going to do nine more treble crochets. Sometimes your yarn gets unraveled and when you're trying to pull it through, of course, the hook gets snagged in, the, in all the strands. You want to pull that tail tight to close it, and then close the ring by doing a slip stitch through the top of that chain that you did. Slip stitch it through, and there is your first round of 10 treble crochets. Just cut that and start the second colour. So here's one I've already started. Now I want to make this uh, starburst in the red. Now we'll be working in the space between the stitches. We're not going to be working in the top chains there. So take your hook through the middle through the space between um, a treble cro two treble crochets, pull it through, and then do one chain there. And I'm going to be working these uh, ends into um, my work, so I don't have to worry about um, sewing it all in at the end. So I want to do um, three chains here, and one more treble crochet in there. I'm going to do two treble crochets in each space between the stitches all the way around. So I've finished my treble crochets, I've got 20 now in all. I want to start my third round and this is the same as the last round. I'm going to be working in between the spaces between the stitches. So if you take this first space here which is between the two V's 
there's a space there. That's where I want to insert my hook and pull my yarn through to do my first treble crochet. Hook that. I'm going to do two more stitches as my first stitch. Pull that tight and work that behind my stitches. So we've done one treble, that's the first stitch. Now, now I want to go into the space between these two trebles that you did. See this V, the two trebles that you, we made? We want to go into that space and do two trebles again. I want to make another V shape in there. When you come round to this space again between the two V's, I want to do one treble crochet. And then in the space between the V's, that space there, we want to do two treble crochets. So I've almost come to the end of this third round. I've done two double V's, two trebles in this V. I'm going to do a one treble in the space between the two V stitches. And in this last V here, I'm going to do two more. And then slip stitch at the top of that chain. And then just cut the yarn. Loop it through and pull. Pull that tight. That's the third round. So for the final round, which is basically, looks, makes it look like a clock actually, doesn't it? So for this one, we want to start here in between the two treble stitches. See that V? That's where we want to insert our hook. And this time we are going to be working in the top of the stitch. So if we find this space between the two V's, this single stitch here, sorry, the single stitch and the V, we find that space. We're going to be working in this top as you normally do. So I'm going to start over here, get my green. I'm going to do one chain there to secure it. And as you can see, what we need to do is um, a British double crochet across the top, and then we're going to do one long stitch where this single stitch is over the single stitch. Can you see what I mean? if I show you here. So this is the V. So I'm going to do a double crochet across the top of that and another one across the top there. And now I've come to this single treble crochet here. That one. And what I'm going to do is Insert my hook, pull, actually insert my hook right back to the red round. So it's going 
right over the single stitch into the bottom there and I'm going to pull the green thread up like that get everything out the way make it the same height there and then just do a double cross there pull that through do another one of those Here's the single treble and here's the two V's there. We've just done a long stitch over there. I don't know what it's called, maybe a long double or something. So in the next chain across the one that's next to it, you want to do a double across the top, another double across that across that V. And here we come to this single treble stitch here. What I want to do is go across there once more, then take my hook right into the red round, grab my yarn from the back, pull it up and pull it through like that. That is so quick and easy to make. Maybe it takes 15 minutes to make that. And you can tidy up the end, uh, the, the back of this if you just want to hang a single medallion like that. Or you can make, if you take two, you can sew them together back to back. Just do a double crochet stitch all the way around. Hide all the ends. and have a nice hanging long thread at the top to make Christmas tree decorations. Here are a few others which I've made using the same colour yarns but in different combinations and what I've done is sew two together and then stuff them with toy filler as you can see so they really stand out and um, they make really good tree decorations. Or you can put a backing on and make it as a coaster. So what I did to make this backing was 
to measure across which was eight centimeters. I made my template using my compass so I get a nice circle and then just cut out the backing in this felt. You can use any thick fabric, any thick cotton in any colour you like to match your yarns. And here's one I did in pink and brown. So you could do them in any colour but as it's Christmas I thought I'd use these Christmas colours. And these make great little gifts as well. You can make sets of four or six and um, give these as gifts. Lovely coasters. You can do more rounds, make them bigger, but four rounds of um, this treble crochet makes them a very nice size for cups and mugs. And um, yeah, there you go. So now I shall sit back on this winter's evening with my coffee and have a quiet evening. So have a good evening and I hope you enjoy this project.